Hi, I'm Priyanka. Welcome to my channel. In earlier video, we have seen different example of JSON. Also, how to deserialize JSON object using deserialize JSON activity in UiPath. Using deserialize JSON activity, we can parse JSON object. But what if JSON format is very complex or it is of JSON array? Yes, we can also parse that and that can be done by deserialize JSON array activity. So as we have already seen the example of JSON array, if not, I'll suggest you to watch my earlier video and you can find the link in description box. UiPath is providing two activities to deserialize JSON. One is deserialize JSON used to pass JSON object and deserialize JSON array used to pass JSON array. In this video, I will show you how we can use deserialize JSON array activity and pass different JSON file. But before moving ahead, we have to install JSON related activities in our workflow and we can do that by going to manage package, all packages, you can search JSON or web and we can download and install uipath.web.activities package and we are good to go. So let's move on to implementation. For that, I have considered two different JSON format, which is of very complex type. So this JSON file is an array of a string, of a number, of a float type. Also, it contains the array. We will try to parse the name as well as this array value means these values so to do that basically we'll create one sequence okay and after that i will read the file i will read that json file using read text file activity i will give the json file to this activity as an input so we are providing the file name which is of dot json and we will create the variable to store the content called json input which is of string type. Also, we will pass this variable to deserialize JSON activity, uh, JSON array activity. JSON deserialize JSON array activity takes the input in a string format and convert that into a JSON array format. So, if we could see the type is J array and we can access the JSON values by using its key. So as you can see here, it is of type array and in this array, there are two objects and we have to access the name and the va this value, the array value. So to access this, First, we have to iterate through it because we have a two objects inside array. To do that, we will drag a for each loop and will pass our JSON object to it. So make sure that the type argument is J token. If not, if you're not able to find this type here in a drop down list, you can simply go to the browse for types, simply type J token and you can select it. Then to access the name value, we simply can access via item and name. Also to access this values, we can give item of children's. So let's go ahead and run the workflow. So we got this value. Then we got the name of a first item. Then we got the second uh, value of a second item, and the name. Yep. So let's move on to our case number two, which is a very complex. Um, if you can see the format, it looks complex, but if you understand it, it will, we can access any, uh, any key, any value 
here in your JSON. So if you can see here, it is of type JSON, uh, JSON array. And in this array, as we can uh, see, it contains the object uh, starts with ID 01 and the sec this is a second object ID 2 and this is a third object. So we have a JSON array in this uh, we have a three objects and inside that object again we have a um, object and array. So for example, if we have to access uh, these value, then how can we? So first of all, these, these values are enclosed uh, in this key. After that, this array is enclosed with this object. And this object are enclosed in our a whole JSON array. So to access this value, we have to access this and then we have to access this key. Also, uh, it is of type array. So we have to iterate through each, each, uh, each object and then we have to access these values. Okay. So to do that, first of all, uh, as usual, as we have seen, uh, we can take the read text file activity to uh, read, the, read the file, read the JSON file and we can provide a file name here and we can create the output to store the content uh, in json underscore input variable which is of type string and we will, we will pass on to this uh, to this deserialize json array activity so it will take the json uh, input as a string and it will generate uh, the output in a, in a form of a J array for each loop we will pass our JSON object a JSON array not object uh, uh, iterating through the each item so that will give us this value like in a, in a first item we will get this whole uh, whole object in a second uh, iteration we will get uh, the second object and in a third iteration we will get the third object but we have to again go down and we have to access this this object so again we are uh, so that's why we are using a uh, for each loop inside a uh, for each loop and so to access this we are accessing the items like for example the uh, item consists of this whole object and uh, so the whole object of batter we are accessing the batter of whole object uh, so that's why i'm giving item of batters so we will uh, so we are we have got the access till now here and uh, then later on we are accessing this array so it will uh, so we have to give like this and then we can simply print our uh, our output or right or item and uh, just make sure that you have selected the type argument as a J token. So let's go ahead and run the workflow. So we get, uh, so we got the first value. Okay. Then uh, the second value, third value, uh, fourth value of object one. Now, of object two, we got first value and it has only one value. So it will move towards object three. So we got the first value of object three, then second value of object three. So that's it. I hope this will help you to parse any complex JSON format, uh, regardless of a JSON object or JSON array. And uh, thanks for watching my videos. Thank you.